on February 5, 1940, Hans Ready Giger was born in the sweet city of Schur, the second son of Melly Giger Mayer and the pharmacist Hans Richard Giger. Giger's fascination with the macabre showed from a very early age. An example of that was when he was six years old and his father received a human skull from a pharmaceutical company, which little Hans dragged down the street on a rope as a toy. He was also fascinated by the mummies in the museum that he visited whenever he could. He studied at the Zurich School of Arts and Craft, where he graduated as an interior designer and industrial designer. Giger developed a personal and dark style, combining fantasies and surrealism, creating a unique biomechanical universe, created mostly with airbrushes. In the 60s, he was known for his fantastic creatures and post-apocalyptic landscapes. At the end of that decade, he participated in the artistic part in short films such as Swiss Made 2068 and Passenger, directed by Freddie M. Muir. In the mid-70s, he published a book with his first compendium of paintings, entitled H.R. Giger's Necronomicon, name and concept inspired by the mythology of Howard Philip Lovecraft. Giger's entry into the world of big-budget cinema comes from the hand of Chilean filmmaker Alejandro Jodorowsky, who was putting together a huge films project to bring the adaptation of the book Dune to the big screen. Salvador Dalí, who was going to participate in the films playing the role of the Padisha Emperor, showed Hodorowsky some catalog with samples of Giger work. The director was fascinated, so he hired Giger to design costume, mask, and the planet Guy de Prime, a dark and hyper-industrialized planet where all kinds of despicable acts were carried out, ruled by a cunning and obese tyrant. Sadly, no studio gave green light to Hodorowsky's project, but Giger's war remained in the orbit of Hollywood. The Necronomicon book served as the visual inspiration for director Ridley Scott's film Alien. That was how, in 1978, Giger began to work on his first high-profile film assignment designing some scenography and especially the creatures based on his own work, Necronom 4. For this work in 1980, he and the special effects team won an Academy Award for Best Achievement in Visual Effects. This gave him an international projection that allowed him to continue working on other films productions such as Poltergeist 2, Alien 3, Species. He even worked on the graphic part of the Dark Seed video game and several album covers. From the beginning of his career, Giger also worked in a sculpture and had the desire to extend the core elements of his artistic vision beyond the paper but it wasn't until 1988 that he was given the chance to design his first total environment, a Giger bar in Tokyo, Japan. However, 
it was four more years before his concepts were properly realized under his personal supervision with the opening of a second giga bar ensure the city of his birth in 1992. The H.R. Giger Museum, a further extension of this dream, opened its door in June of 1998 in the Chateau Saint-Germain in the historic medieval walled city of Rugers, Switzerland, as the permanent home to many of the artist's most prominent works. The museum houses the largest collection of Giger's paintings, sculptures, furniture, and film designs dating from the early 60s to the present day. In his later years, Giger was honored with a series of major museum retrospectives in many parts of the world. A lot of books were published about his art and biography. In 2013, a documentary began to be shot by Belinda Salin. In this documentary, Giger's friends, family and fans describe the impact he and his art have had on their lives, and Giger discusses some of his early inspirations. Unfortunately, Giger died shortly after production end. He died on May 12, 2014, from injuries caused by a fall he suffered at his home. He was buried in the Gruyere Cemetery, leaving behind a transcendental work full of dreamlike, dramatic, oppressive, and sinister images, gift with a hypnotic beauty that captivates those who dare to look.